How to integrate custom forms in Shopify. My name is Kraus and in today's tutorial we are going to go over everything needed to successfully add and integrate all sorts of different forms on your store. Now by default the only form that you're going to get with Shopify is going to be this contact form right here. Now in my last tutorial I actually showed how to customize this to your likings. So for example we actually deleted the phone section and we also changed up the text right here. So so if you want to know how to do that, make sure to watch my latest video. Either way, we are going to go over two different ways of actually adding custom forms onto Shopify in this video. So let's get started. To get started, you will have to head over to the Shopify dashboard and then you will have to simply click on settings on the bottom left, then click on apps and sales channels and open up the Shopify app store. Now generally, I'm actually not a big fan of adding a lot of apps onto Shopify because if you for example do have 10, 15, 20 apps on Shopify then this will actually significantly reduce the overall loading speed of your store which will then actually lead to lower conversion rates overall. However, I'm actually going to show you a super lightweight app to actually add custom forms on Shopify. So make sure to just look for forms right here and then you're going to be greeted with a lot of different options. Now, I personally wouldn't recommend you to actually go for a paid plan when you're getting started. Now, if you do already have an established store, uh, as obviously it makes sense to go for a paid plan. Most of the time, this is only going to cost you 10 or 15 bucks a month, as you can see right here. Most of the other apps, at least from wha what I have seen, actually are going to limit the submissions. However, with this P3 form builder app, you are actually going to get unlimited submissions. You are going to get the pop-up integrations, recapture, so that you aren't going to get any fraudulent submissions. You are going to have multi-step, infoworks, custom mail, report, subscription, two forms, eight fields. So as you can see, overall super good stuff in my opinion for a free plan. And I will show you how to actually install this. For now, just click on install right here. Um, later on, we are also going to go over another way of actually adding a custom form onto Shopify without reducing the loading speed of our store, but more on that later on. So as you can see right here, first of all, we can just uh, click on this and then we are going to have tons of different templates right here. Now, to be completely honest, I'm not that big of a fan of these templates. However, you are going to have basically tons of different templates which you can choose from. Um, now, depending on the form that you want to build, you will just have to select that right here on top. So if you, for example, do want to build up a sign-up form, you can use this lead generation form, this one right here and so on. Now, in this case, I, I don't know what, let's actually just go for a normal sign-up form right here and just select this, click on go to design. Now you are going to be redirected to the design editor of this app, of the Pyfi app basically. Now as you can see, as we are in the free plan, we can't right now actually add any widgets from the left right here, as we would actually have to upgrade our plan to do that. However, I would recommend you to simply just customize this to your likings so that you don't actually need to upgrade the plan. However, we are also going to go over a completely free method later on, which in my opinion is even better uh, than this Pyfi uh, app right here, because as you can see, the design doesn't look too good. And I don't know if this is actually going to convert the best if I'm completely honest but either way you can select all of the different elements right here you can then first of all change up the question you can also add a placeholder so for example as for the email section right here we could then add a placeholder called mail mail.com then we can also send notifications and we can actually also create a Shopify customer after submitted, which I actually think is a pretty good feature. Um, other tools aren't going to give you this. Now as for the other settings right here on the forms, basically we can select if we do want to display this with a pop-up or bubble, which will then look something like this. So kind of a modal pop-up right here. We can then actually even further customize this by basically setting the trigger. We can show on which page this to show. Uh, and so on. As for the other settings, we can basically select multi-step. So in this case, this actually makes sense as this kind of, I guess, will lead to more people actually going through this form. You can also deselect this and then you're going to see all of the different elements from right here. Uh, and then as for the info box, you can basically enable this. In general, I wouldn't recommend you to do so. You aren't going to use this most of the times. As for the overall appearance, basically we can change this right here. We can make the background transparent and so on. So as you can see, this is how our form by default is now going to look like. So if we're now going to save this right here, 
we can actually go ahead and go over the other setting. Now as you can see right here we are also going to get tons of other features which for as for time sakes I'm not going to go over all of them right now but I do quickly want to highlight the Google recapture feature right here. I would recommend you to actually enable this so that you don't actually get any fraudulent leads and so that you don't actually get any bots that are going to sign up to you. Then as for the custom message you can actually also set this right here but once again I'm not going to do this right now rather I'm just going to click on publish and then we will basically have to select the page where we want to actually publish this to. So in this case I'm just going to select pages and then I'm going to actually select the test123 page right here. So then we can just click on the placement of the uh, form so we can either select top or bottom. In my case I'm just going to select top and now I'm just simply going to click on install to page. This is then going to take a couple of seconds. So let's now head over to that exact page. To do so, I'm just going to click on online store, pages, then I'm going to select the test one, two, three page right here. I'm just going to preview the page. And as you can see, now we do have this form added. However, there is actually a way easier and in my opinion, better way of doing this, which will actually include just using Google forms, okay? So I assume most of you are already familiar with this. This is basically a free form generator from Google, which you can use right here. So we can just set a title for this. I'm just going to name this test video form 123. Then we can actually go over all sorts of different questions that we want to add. So in this case, we are going to have the option to add short answers, uh, multiple choices, checkboxes, drop downs, and so on. Basically tons of different options. Now I will actually not go over all of this right now. This is pretty self-explanatory either way. However, right here under settings, we can actually also change the defaults. We can change the presentation type and so on. Now. Uh, to actually now show this onto Shopify, you will just have to click on send right here on the top right. And then you can actually select that you do want to collect the email addresses. So if you, for example, do want to get leads from this, uh, I would recommend you to actually set this to either verified or responder input. In my opinion, verified actually works the best. And then we will have to select HTML right here and then just copy this code. Okay, copy this. Now head back to Shopify and now basically you do want to add a new page where you do want to then integrate that form onto. Okay, so in this case I'm just going to name this custom form test and then this is really important. We don't want to right away paste this in. We want to rather change this to show HTML and then paste in the code from Google. So now just simply save this and now we can just view this page and as you can see now this successfully got embedded. We all know that starting a successful Shopify store can be super hard. That's why I'm right now giving out my Shopify course for completely free. Now you're going to learn everything needed to actually streamline your Shopify success in that exact course. So make sure to click on the link down below to get started.